All right, so brief history of this car. I bought it in March of 2015. I probably put 20, 25,000 miles on it. It was back and forth to Daytona, uh, to Turkey Run, and all over the place. First, we'll start here under the hood. 383 Chevy engine, stroker. Built pretty mild, nine to one, runs on regular 87 gas. Got vintage air <clears throat> with the uh, relocation to put the uh, compressor over here. It was a factory air car, so I used an AC delete box, to keep things kind of clean. This is a 1968 car, but as you'll notice, uh, nothing about it is really 68 at all. And I'll discuss a little bit about what I had to do about that in a minute. Of course, from here back, still the 68, 69 body style. Nine passenger uh, Vista Cruiser roof. Got the uh, sport wheel, tilt steering. Got the uh, Tic Tac in the dash. Gauges under the dash. Uh, right now, a custom auto sound radio. I do plan on having an original AM FM converted to Bluetooth at a later date. Full vinyl red interior, taken after a 69 442. All these covers and door panels were made by Bill Queen in Spartanburg. No, no covers or any kits were, were used in this car. He also covered the metal dash vinyl. He covered the dash pad. Had to make all this stuff. All the trim around the windows has been covered in vinyl. As you can see, nothing is painted or dyed. All this is covered in vinyl. Going back to the back seat, still pretty much same deal. The only thing that pretty much retains from the stock Vista Cruiser interior is this trim, which I actually really liked, and this here. So we've got these speakers uh, here. I've got them set up in the back seat. Uh, it's just me and my wife, so we don't have any passengers to have to worry about. Uh, third row seating. Again, all this headliner, no kits available, all custom made. Billy at uh, Tent Plus, Billy Wheeler, uh, did the window tinting and did a ceramic headlight film on these sky glasses and made them look absolutely like brand new. So we come to the rear of the car. Probably one of the worst pieces left on the car original is the back window. I'll be replacing this in the future. I added the uh, rear air dam. That was optional on these cars. Made it the uh, W30 and uh, retained the trim on the tailgate, but painted it. This is rocket red from Tamco and stars and stripes pearl white from Tamco. If anyone's wondering about the paint, I've since switched over to Orion. A lady that ran Tamco went out and started her own company. And I'll talk about some of that in some of my other videos, so I urge you to check those out too. Got the uh, three point seat belts. Seat belts are all through the car. All new weather stripping, of course. Some of what was retained from Years ago, it was probably the mid 2010s, I uh, bought these floor mats and they're still in the car. I was able to reuse those. You'll notice a uh, Chevelle console, which I think goes perfectly with the aluminum trim on the steering wheel and the door panels. Looks just like it came that way. The mirrors are 55, 56, 57 Chevy. You'd never know it if I hadn't told you. Windshields on these cars are special to a sedan. This is a 70 windshield, as I went with the built-in windshield antenna. So back under the hood here, you'll notice the dual snorkel air cleaner, wheel wood, four wheel disc brakes. You'll see that later on in the video. This is a 70, 69, 70 Pontiac dual snorkel air cleaner. Bought a chrome lid and it looks just like it came on the car. Four core radiator, aluminum. Of course, the Dr. Oldsmobile W machine for looks there. 
all the full 4-2 badging, reproduction front bumper, grills, all that good stuff. It's all available. Then we'll talk a little bit about the wheels. These are 17 inch uh, Oldsmobile year one wheels, chrome plated aluminum. Four wheel wheel wood, disc brakes with the red calipers all the way around. This car actually came with a Chevrolet 12 bolt. But you'll notice the rare W27 cover. So that ought to get a few heads talking if I ever take it to an old show somewhere one day. One year only rear bumper. Tailgate only goes one direction. Had to have that re chrome by Tri City Plating. Of course, none of this stuff's available new. I found uh, NOS backup lights and real good used tail light lenses. The actual car already had a lot of this stuff in good shape. So I was good to go there, but I've bought extra because you just never know. Pretty good sized tires on this car. The red line tires are from Diamondback, 17 inch. And then the last thing I want to talk about is how I made this car look the way it looks. Well, basically what I had to do, I used a 1970 radiator support. Got that from Hector Carrillo out in California. Car Hex. Some of y'all might know him. Bought, he sells a lot of nice rust-free original stuff out there. He greyhounded that to me. And I found these fenders. 69 fenders. They have a dual bolt pattern. You'll notice the 68 only had a hole here and here. These are 69. Run the 70 hood hinges, 70 full 42 hood, and latches. But I actually had to cut the front of the fender on a 70 and weld it in to these to make that bumper and all this stuff work. So, this will be the only one in the country you'll see like this. I'll let the hood down again. Shut it. This is the aftermarket steel and fiberglass hood. Got lucky on that one from a friend of mine. Those are pretty pricey if you have to buy them through the catalog. So anyway, wanted to finally do a showcase on this car. I've had this car since 2015. I've actually had it back from upholstery since May. So I've been driving it around, probably didn't put two or 3,000 miles on it, but finally, Decided we got a car show tomorrow. I figured it was a good time to do it and Went and cut and buff the paint again Two or three steps here. It's a ram coat spray to hold nine. So we should be good to go paint job on this car looks like a night and day difference so Hope you enjoyed the video now stay tuned for some still shots of the car If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so I've got more to come on all this stuff. With that being said, have a good weekend, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.